just going to ask you a, a few things. Uh, first of all, about the uh, Eco Film Fest Roadshow just now. I mean, um, what, what do you think about the film just now? The uh, Everything School? I think it's very good, yeah. It's, um, it, it resonates with the sentiments of uh, uh, what we worry about today about the environment. Something, not only should we know about what's going on, we have to do something about it as well. So that sort of film really helps. Okay. Yeah. Right, so, uh, Ellen, right? Yes. Ellen, um, you've seen the movie just now. Yes. So, uh, what do you think? Yeah, I think it's good because the I think now we are reached a stage, especially in US, where it's a fact already. There's no more debate about you know whether it's a myth or actually it's a fact. And especially the environmentalists and the politicians agree to it. I think their next challenge now is what are we going to do about it? Yeah. So it was good in the sense that it gives the Jesus also um, that assurance that it's happening. Okay, thank you, uh, Philip. You are a strong, uh, you know, person for this uh, Eco Film Fest thing yep. from DG. Yep. Um, of course, you, you come to the festival, but uh, what what do you expect to see in terms of films? What kind of films would you like to to, to see in, uh, during the Eco Film Fest? I think uh, most of the time we know that the, the the fight for the environment is something that's uh, evolving. You know? So I think people are always trying to find out what are the latest technologies out there, you know, what are the latest hybrids, the latest uh, different countries of how they are tackling it. You see? Because it gives you a larger scope, a more holistic picture on what other countries are doing, what certain groups are doing. You know? So uh, I think when, when you see that, it becomes a bit inspirational. You know? So you, you, you start feeling that you know, I'm, I'm also a part of this, you know, that we can make a difference also. Yeah? So, Ezri, um, Movie or film can can make a change. You can can inspire people to you know to start going uh, more being more eco friendly or okay. being more aware about the environment. All right. One thing I strongly believe about films is it's an inculcation process, and we have to be very patient about it. Right? Yeah. It's not going to happen. It's not going to happen overnight. Yeah. Uh, there might be one film that a person watches, but another person gets affected. Yeah. But one thing for sure, there is a collection, especially in DG. In DG, yeah. People who get affected by watching these movies and then they, they become uh, even more passionate and concerned yeah, about the environment. They are putting like uh, bio curtains in their houses, yeah, I've heard, yeah, instead of using normal curtains, huh, they're really getting affected but you don't know them. Yeah, when, when we have screenings then uh, uh, they're there and when there's no screening they ask when's the next screening, yeah, they do get, get affected. So yes, of course, yeah. How about you? I mean, like, um, what do you think about the environment? I, I think, uh, well, to be honest, uh, uh, DG is very much ahead, but overall as a Malaysian and Malaysia in general, we are still quite behind actually, yeah? But that, that, that not to be said in the, the negative sense, lah, yeah? But we have to be positive uh, in, in believing that we, we have to strive, yeah? And, and, and uh, that's why uh, you guys are here, Econites are here, yeah? Um, it, it will take many years, yeah? And uh, as long as we've got the drive and the energy, then hopefully it will happen. Okay. Alan, um, 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 what can you do as an individual to, you know, to help uh, or encourage other people besides, you know, film? Yep. Uh, yeah. I think what I do is uh, I tend to set examples. Yeah, examples like if I try my best, if I can uh, eat at reload, I try to eat. If I need to go out to eat, I try to carpool and all that. So yeah, I try to uh, set an example instead of just telling other people that you know you should be doing this, you should be doing that, and all that. And uh, lastly, Philip, um, tell us something uh, about um, the working environment here in DG. You know how do you, you know you set all these uh, green teams and green uh, movement in DG. Tell us uh, briefly about yeah the. Okay, um, we, we've done a lot of things in the office. Uh, we've, uh, we've got two main, main areas that we're looking at. One is that we minus our paper usage. Uh, we've got uh, everything that's online, our uh, HRMS, HR services, our annual leaves, claims, everything is done online. So we try to reduce paper as much as possible. Uh, and a lot of people actually feel it and they can uh, they actually resonate with it. Uh, 
So not only that, we you realize that in our, in our offices we have no waste paper baskets. It's all recycled bins. Yeah? So every day when you come in, you actually feel it. Uh, the, the other thing that uh, I'm actually quite proud of is our Earth Hour every day. Uh, you know, we've done it for more than a year plus already. Every day at lunch, uh, it was triggered off not by a management decision. It was a vote by all the employees. So 90% of the employees said that they wanted to do it. And we started doing it every day. And uh, we've done some calculations every year. It saves us more than 63 tons. You know, just by doing that simple, very simple initiatives. Oh, that's, that, that's good to know. That's good to know. So you have... Um, Give us one main tip. Uh, what can okay. we do? You know, um, at home or in the office? Yep. Uh, one of the main things at home, uh, example for my home, uh, yes, we do have fridge and aircons. Uh, but if you keep uh, it uh, at a, a room temperature, you know, it actually reduce your compressor, how, how much it works. Uh, it doesn't have to work so hard. Uh, your compressor unit, if you try to shade it, put it uh, some, some uh, trees around it to shade it, it actually cool, uh, works less. So the, it doesn't use up so much energy. Uh, even the fridge in the freezer uh, is that um, you keep your ice ice cubes uh, full. It actually helps your your fridge use less energy. Ah, that's that's cool. mm. How about you, Elliot? Any mm. tips you would like to share with? Yeah, um, I stay in a, a condominium. So normally when I go down stack uh, down, I will take the staircase. Yeah, mm. instead of taking taking the lift. Oh, that's healthy. Yeah. <laughs> well, mine is definitely the uh, the green curtain. Yeah, you have all those vines. Huh? Yeah. So so uh, instead of having curtains, when you have these uh, these bio curtains outside your window, uh, to cool the house, it actually takes less energy. Like what Philip has just said. Yeah. So this is something which is very simple, and it looks very nice as well. Okay. All right. Thank you very much, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Um, yeah. Hope to see you guys at the Eco Fest. Thank you. Thank you very much.